I'll level with you guys. I cry at a lot of stuff, but nothing gets me going quite like watching animals reuniting with their owners. There's just something about it that makes my heart melt in the best way possible. It's that and food videos. Just pure joy. Let's check it out, shall we? From an adorable puppy reunited with his owner to a curious duck-human relationship. Let's see 20 animals reunited with their owners after years. <sighs> Number 20. German Shepherd Reunion Dogs are incredible animals. They're so emotionally intelligent that it often seems they can sense something in the air. When you're sad, the dog will come and comfort you. Happy? The dog will be happy too. And if someone they love is coming home, well, they just lose their minds. This video shows the moment that a beautiful German Shepherd was finally reunited with his beloved owner. Rocky had been missing his owner David for over five months as David had been deployed on military duty overseas. So you can imagine how desperately Rocky wanted to see his buddy again, and when that day finally arrived, it was as emotional and joyful as you could imagine. Look how fast Rocky runs to him. That is pure love between animal and owner. And if that isn't a great reminder of why dogs are the best animal, I don't know what is. Dogs are pure love, personified as animals. Unless they happen to be aggressive or violent, in which case, uh, well, that's a problem. But here, come on, this is true love between man and pet, and there's something truly beautiful about that, right? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. It's time for the rare topic. Life must be pretty interesting when your dad owns a zoo. This girl was taking care of a lion like a pet. The zoo separated them for eight years, but now that eight years have passed, the girl finally got the opportunity to see her old friend again. Yes, this girl reunites with her pet lion after eight years. Lucy was raised with a pet lion named Kevin and always treated him like her family member until he was taken away from for some reason. After years of trying to track him down, Lucy finally found him and managed to secure a meeting. Initially, Kevin growled at her, unsure of who she was, but then suddenly it's like he understood and began cuddling with her right away. What do you think? Would you want to have a pet lion? Or is that not for you? Comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, Let's keep things moving. Number 19. Spoon Bill Reunion don't ever fall into the foolish assumption that animals can't be friends with humans. Sure, they may be two different species, but that doesn't mean anything. True love, appreciation, and friendship can break any barrier or overcome any obstacle put before it. When it was just a baby, this young, black-faced spoonbill suffered an unfortunate and very serious injury during a rainstorm. But rest assured, nobody died because one kind human stepped in to do the right thing saving this beautiful animal and making a friend for life. During the bird's recovery, the pair forged a strong and inseparable bond, and the man was understandably sad to let go of his buddy. He didn't know it at the time, but the bird would never be able to forget what he did. <laughs> With permission from the staff, the man was allowed to enter the enclosure. When he called out for his friend, the bird immediately ran to the man and began chirping heavily. Yeah, the bird remembered his old buddy. In a way, the video is as heartbreaking as it is moving. Despite this incredible and sweet reunion, both man and bird know they must let the other go. But how wonderful that they had this moment to share together. Number 18. Elephant Reunion 
They say elephants never forget. And while I'm not an expert in animal memory, I do have a clip that may well prove this to be a true statement, or you can just choose to ignore it and go on believing whatever you want to believe. I'm okay with either. This heartwarming video shows an elephant herd running over to greet Derek, a worker at Elephant Nature Park. Derek, who had been away from the Kamla herd for 14 months, calls out to his friends, and the six large elephants hear him from down the stream and trumpet hello in return. Derek had been leading a project on elephant conservation in Cambodia, but coming back his heart was truly warmed to see his old friends running over to greet him, or he was scared and just really good at hiding it. Clearly Derek has left an impression on these beautiful animals. Had they not cared about him, this video would have been far more depressing to watch. Interesting and entertaining, yeah, but still more depressing. I mean, it'd be sad if you're the only person person on Earth that an elephant can't remember. Number 17. Returning Soldier I don't know if animal reunion videos have subgenres of their own, but if they do, then the Animal Soldier reunion is by far one of the most emotional of them all. I don't know why, it just is. Anyway, take a look at this one. This dog's mom had been on active duty for several months, leaving the little pup lost and missing her badly. Well, not to worry, because separation never lasts forever. After an extended period, the dog was brought to the airport to sit and wait and wait, until finally mommy came down the escalator and the dog of course went absolutely wild. As soon as the pup saw her mom, she went crazy. Unable to hold in her excitement, just look at those hugs and kisses. I think it's pretty obvious how badly she missed her mama. What did I tell you? So emotional! It's so adorable how dogs are just completely unable to hide their emotions, but when they're this full of love, well that's another level of beauty. This dog absolutely adores her mother, and she's not afraid to show it. You know what? I'm gonna watch it again. Who's gonna stop me? Number 16. Emotional Reunion with Chimpanzees in 2015, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service listed chimpanzees as an endangered species. As a result, hundreds of former lab chimps were relocated to sanctuaries and given a chance to heal from the physical and emotional scars they suffered while being used as test subjects. Doll and Swing were lucky. They were part of a group of chimps that were used to develop treatments for hepatitis and got their freedom long before it was legally required. In 1974, when the chimps were no longer needed, Linda Kobner helped them find not only new homes, but also learn the skills necessary to adjust to the outside world. For four years, she taught them how to survive. In 1996, Linda decided to pay Doll and Swing a visit at Lion Country Safari in southern Florida, where the two had lived for nearly two decades. Upon seeing her, Swing broke out in a grin. He pulled pulled her into a tight hug, and shortly after, Doll joined the embrace. This is the kind of thing I'd like to see more of. Beautiful animals celebrating their freedom in the world. This wonderful woman did what she could to get them safe new homes and a life on the outside. That they remembered and appreciated her for doing it is just delightful. Number 15. Jupiter the Lion you have to be a very brave person to want to look after lions like they're your children. Well, fortunately for us, there are a lot of brave people out in the world, and this lady is certainly one of them. Anna Julia Torres has owned and operated the Villa Lorena Animal Sanctuary for over 30 years. She takes in abused or mistreated animals, nursing them back to health, reminding them of the love and appreciation they have long forgotten. One such was a 
lion named Jupiter. Jupiter was born and raised in a circus, one of the cruelest places for any animal to grow up. But Anna, who adopted Jupiter when he was old enough, has made admirable efforts to give Jupiter the love he deserves. Did she do a good job? That depends on who you ask. Anna claims that she takes care of the animals as if they're her own children, and that she's kinder than their former owners. Still, others say she's just as abusive as the owners she claims to loathe. But just look at the moment Anna and Jupiter reunite, and you'll see he adores her more than anything. This is the woman who rescued him from a brutal life and showed him the value of love. I'm pretty confident this shows that she's a truly caring woman. At least the lions certainly seem to think so. Number 14. Circus Monkey there's not a living animal on this earth that deserves to spend its life in a circus, and yes, that includes humans. Circuses are, uh, well, they're pretty awful places to be, and yet somehow people make friends there. Miro, a volunteer at a nearby facility, found an unexpected friendship with Kiala, a 14-year-old circus monkey, under the big top. Miro first met Kiala at a traveling seasonal show that visits Miro's town once every year. <laughs> Like a baby. And the pair quickly became best buds. Unfortunately, Miro and Kiala had to part ways when the circus left town. Determined to see his friend again, Miro returned to the facility where the circus was staying a year later. When little Kiala saw Miro, he jumped in joy and nuzzled into his human friend's arms. The monkey couldn't get enough of the cuddling. It had been a long time since he had seen his human friend, even though Miro Miro could not bring his little friend home with him. He can rest assured, knowing that Kiala is taken good care of. Miro and Kiala's friendship is proof that two souls can be linked despite time and distance. They're also a reminder that circuses are just not a good place for animals to be. It's cruel! Let them be free! Number 13. Christian the Lion it is heartbreaking to see lions in cages at zoos, but the fact that you could once buy lions at department stores in London is truly horrifying. Yeah, a pair of Australian men purchased an African lion from Harrods department store in 1969. Seriously. Fortunately for Christian and for animal lovers everywhere, his life in captivity didn't last too long. Thanks to conservationist George Adamson, Christian the lion was reintroduced to the African wild. A year later, Christian's former owners returned to Africa, and upon finding him, discovered that he did remember them. He missed being with his old pals, and the two lionesses who had joined him were also delighted to see them. It was a happy reunion for all. Thank God for that. The alternative, uh, let's not think about that. It takes an enormous amount of nerve to not be afraid when coming face to face with a lion, but these guys found Found the courage, and thank goodness they did. I mean, even after all this, I still come back to the absolutely insane fact that you could, at one time, buy a lion in a London department store. The 60s, man. Those drugs were something else. Number 12. The Happy Gosling I feel like we as a species don't appreciate or talk about geese and goslings enough, but we're going to do our best to try and fix that problem right now by introducing you to Sam. Sam is a truly happy gosling, and my lord, he is adorable. The person behind the camera had previously met Sam before and had done quite a bit of work feeding and looking after the little dude, so you can only imagine how happy the cameraman was to see Sam again again, and to be recognized. The second that Sam sees his old buddy, what does he do? He starts running toward him as quickly as he can. I mean, come on, that's just so adorable. It's also pretty amusing to notice how Sam's parents are just confused about what the heck is going on. Honestly, not enough people appreciate just how adorable goslings can be. I mean, he even looks like he's about to start talking to his old friend when he runs over. Aren't animals just beautiful when they forge bonds with other species? Living alongside them is truly one of the greatest things about being on this planet. Number 11. 
Limbani. Animals should never be exempt from having feelings or emotions. They are living creatures too, and like humans, they can also show happiness, sorrow, anger, and a whole host of other emotions. This next video clip shows a baby chimpanzee rejoicing when he reunites with his foster parents, and his joyful display is most touching. Surrounded by his human caregivers and other chimps, one baby chimp named Limbani is overjoyed to see his human foster dad, George, again. Limbani Bonnie screams as his foster dad approaches, then leaps into his arms for a warm embrace. See how happy that chimp is? He's smiling from ear to ear. It isn't clear how long these two have been apart, but they obviously missed each other. Their reunion is nearly as sweet as their close bond. The chimp shows no sign of letting go of his dad, at least not until he sees his foster mom, George and Tanya, have selflessly given themselves to Limbani, a baby chimp who was rejected by his mother after he was born with pneumonia. Now Limbani has a loving family who will always be there for him, and who could possibly ask for more? Number 10. Calming the Bull Anybody with half a brain knows you don't mess with a bull. Anybody who even considers angering or provoking one of these animals is in for a real shock if they think they're going to get away with it. And yet, one guy somehow manages to get away with it every time. Look at this footage. A bull comes raging through the streets of a small town until he sees the man who used to feed him, and the bull immediately calms down. Jose Luis Penanotes from the small town of Cadreta in Navarre, Spain, is the man who put his trust in this once ferocious animal, and the bull seems to share the same trust in his human ally. The story goes that Jose Luis was feeding some cows in a field by hand when the bull, Capitan, barged into him from behind, hitting him in the shoulder. They became friends after that. It's kinda cute if you forget the damage that a bull can do to a human. Frankly, if a bull hit me in the wild, I would not be looking to befriend it. I'd probably be working on some kind of a way out. And then, of course, I would just never be near a bull again. I'm more a voiceover artist, not a matador. Number 9. Gorilla Reunion as our planet wildly veers from catastrophe to catastrophe, animal conservation is more important than ever. Our planet is rapidly altering its climate, environments are being wiped out, and animals are facing extinction. Conservationists are truly the heroes of our world, and even animals know it. Just watch as conservationist Damien Aspinall reunites with Quibi, a lowland gorilla he hasn't seen for five Five years. Quibi spent his childhood at Howlett's Wild Animal Park in England with Aspinall. When he was five, Quibi was released into the forests of Gabon, West Africa, but now the pair are reunited, and it seems like they never really left one another. Of course, nothing can stay like this forever, and there comes the point at which Damien has to leave. How is Quibi going to take it? Well, he accepts it, of course, but it's heartbreaking to watch it happen. Imagine waiting five years to see your best friend, finally getting reunited and then immediately having to be separated again. That's so heartbreaking. Life is truly nothing more than a series of moments. Maybe someday we'll see a moment where these two beautiful beings will meet once more. And I will sob, my friends. I will sob. Number 8. Dean Schneider to most people, Tarzan is nothing more than a character in a story. It's not possible for him to exist or to have ever existed. But if you ask me, I think that's very close-minded. Tarzan does exist, but his name isn't Tarzan. His name is Dean Schneider, and his mission is to bring animals into human hearts. This video shows the way Dean is showered with love by an entire family of lions. I have absolutely no idea how the guy has 
so much confidence or why the lions chose to embrace him with love instead of ripping him apart, but I'm very glad that the guy is able to make it work and that he lives to tell the tale. Not many people would be able to do that. Hell, I imagine most people who tried this would be met with a lot more aggression than a hug. As the lions kiss and hug him, Dean says that he's been waiting two weeks for this moment. These lions are his family and to be with them again is truly his happy place. Again, that's pretty wild to think about, but hey, whatever works for you, man. Number 7. Bonchuk some of you may remember that heartbreaking episode of Futurama where the dog waits for Fry to come back every single day. Well, we're gonna see that play out in real life now, although this one has a much happier ending. This dog named Bonchuk, bon Juk, went viral for her unwavering devotion to her owner even in the most stressful of times. Reportedly, the dog followed the ambulance that transported Seaman Senturk to hospital in Black Sea City of Trebzon, Turkey, until he could see him again. The man's daughter said that she would take Bunchuk home every day, but the dog would run away and come back to the hospital. After being discharged from the hospital, Senturk was pushed outside in a wheelchair for a meeting with his dog. Senturk finally returned home with Bunchuk, his best friend. Didn't I tell you it was a happy ending? Honestly, I can't imagine what it would have been like had this beautiful dog not been allowed to be reunited with his owner. Any other ending than this one would have been nothing short of devastating. A dog with this kind of loyalty deserves the world, and it's nice to see she got it. Number 6. Adoption Reunion is there anything more heartbreaking than the idea of your beloved pet being randomly stolen? I don't know that there is. In 2019, when a car struck the fence around her Allentown, Pennsylvania home, Aisha Neves lost her beloved dog, Kovu. She relied on friends and neighbors to help search for him, and even checked with the Lehigh County Humane Society to see if he had been dropped off. But Kovu was gone. He'd been adopted. Neves was devastated by the news. As two years passed, she kept thinking about her little lost love. Until June, she was browsing the Humane Society's page of adoptable dogs. One day, when she saw Kovu's face, Neves rushed to the animal shelter to, to pick up her dog. She was nervous about seeing him, wondering if he'd remember her. But one look between the pair and she knew the answer. They locked eyes and she saw his smile, and he started wagging his tail then ran toward her for a big hug. As soon as he started coming, he started squealing, screaming, yelping, and jumping on her, kissing her. Neve says it was as if they had never been separated. Thank the Lord that this story has a happy ending. It's traumatic enough to imagine that this beautiful animal was taken away, but good to know that he eventually found his way back home. Number 5. Girl and Horse it's always nice when people choose to surprise their loved ones with an unexpected reunion, and when that reunion is with a beloved animal. It only makes the whole thing infinitely more special. This young girl certainly had no idea what was coming when her family brought her to the stables. Just four years earlier, this girl was forced to sell her beloved horse due to financial issues. Despite the heartbreak, the girl had managed to come to terms with the loss, believing that it was for the best. <laughs> but it turns out that wasn't the end to the story at all. As her birthday approached, her family began making arrangements to reunite her with her beloved horse. When the big day came, the family made her cycle through the story all over again, and you can see on her face the slow realization that something's coming. But what is it? Only the return of her beloved barrel racer Spook. As soon as she sees him, the girl immediately rushes over to give him the love and attention that's been missing in their lives for four years. And to see the pair of them sharing a moment like this is nothing short of beautiful. This is the power of love, my friends. Number 4. Mayhem 
When your dog's name is Mayhem, you have to expect a little bit of chaos now and then, but this family could never have expected their story could have turned out like this. Their beloved Mayhem truly did lead them on quite a journey. Mayhem is a pure breed pit bull who went missing in 2013 after venturing a little too far from home. No matter how hard they tried, the family just couldn't find her anywhere. Well, fortunately enough, a miracle happened. The dog was found wandering the streets of Springfield, Missouri, and rescued by workers at the Springfield Animal Shelter. The workers there scanned her for a microchip, but found nothing. With little information to work from and no owner coming forward, the shelter prepared to do the unimaginable euthanasia. Luckily enough, a rescue group stepped in to scan her for a chip one last time, and found one. Mayhem had somehow ventured from Arizona, all the way to Missouri and had been missing for three years. Against the odds, she was brought back home to the loving family that she'd missed for those years. I bet she learned a very valuable lesson. Don't ever run away from your family. Number 3. Lost Cat Reunion the only thing worse than someone losing their cat is a child losing their cat. Children love their pets with such strong emotions that it can be truly heartbreaking to even imagine a child losing their best friend. But sometimes, miracles do happen. This little girl had a black and white calico cat named Cursor, who was her best friend in the entire world. Unfortunately, one day Cursor got lost and couldn't find his way home. This little girl lost her beloved best friend. The family hoped that someday they'd be able to reunite with their beloved kitty, but they knew it was no guarantee. Lucky enough, three years later, Cursor the cat was finally found. The savior had the good sense to bring the cat to a shelter where they found Cursor's microchip and his original family. Returning him home, they were able to make this moving reunion a reality. The little girl was understandably thrilled to be reunited with her best friend, having missed him for three long years. And Cursor was happy to be back too, even if he doesn't seem to be happy in the video. You know what they're like when they're on camera. Number 2. Zoe so we've seen a lot of very emotional animal reunions today. We're about to see another one. This is not just some reunion after a six month or one year absence. No, no. This is much longer term than that. You can't imagine how long the heartbreak of this one lasted. This is Zoe, a beautiful dog who was separated from her owner and lost in 2010. Cut to 2022. 12 years later, and a miracle has truly taken place. Zoe has been found in Stockton, California, abandoned and left to fend for herself, until some kind Samaritan did the right thing and contacted the police, saving her life. The animal service officer scanned her microchip and found that Zoe had been listed as dead since 2015. Yeah, she had been missing for so long that the microchip company thought she was deceased. Officer Levin was able to get the contact details of Zoe's owner from the firm that had put a microchip in her neck, and he found that they still had the same phone number. He called her family home in Lafayette and told them that their dog, who they thought was dead, was alive and well, and that's how it all happened. Twelve years on from the initial heartbreak, these two are finally reunited. It's enough to make you cry. And I did. Multiple. Times. Let's not talk about how many times I recorded this, shall we? Number 1. Sonia We've focused a lot in this video on dogs and cats and other domestic pets. Maybe we should end with something bigger, more dramatic, right? Like, oh, I don't know, a bear? Everyone okay with a bear? Alright, great. Let's talk about Sonia. When a bear named Sonia was orphaned as a cub, she was cared for by a caretaker identified only as Jonathan. Well, this video picks up some years later when Jonathan returned to the orphaned wildlife center to visit his old friend.
How could he possibly have expected a reunion like this one? As soon as she sees him, Sonya reaches out to her old friend racing to the fence at the sound of his voice. Not only did the bear remember her caretaker, but she also remembered the game they used to play and got him to play with her again. It's so moving to see these old friends hanging out again, like no time had passed at all. Despite how fearsome these animals can be, it's amazing to see one acting like a total teddy bear. I guess it shows the impact that respect and love can have on other species. This is a bond built on love, respect, and kindness. Have you ever had a reunion with a beloved animal? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.